What's going on everybody? Here we are. It's another week at the Home Theater Hobbies and this week we have our full review of the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. So let's get to it. First of all, before we begin, I want to thank you guys for your support thus far, for all your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, all of those great things that you do, including hitting that Amazon link. We really appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so that you can know every time we upload a video. Also, if you want to support this channel, you can look in the description below and you can find a few links, including where you can buy shirts like these at the Home Theater Hobby Store. So thank you guys for that. Now let's get to the review. This is the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. It's about four and a half inches long by about an inch and a quarter wide and about a quarter of an inch thick. It has an HDMI connection on this side so you can plug this into your TV or your compatible AVR, AV receiver. It has a power port here and those are the only connections that are on this particular stick. It has a 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor with eight gigabytes of onboard storage. Its Wi-Fi antennas support 802.11 AC with dual bands and dual antennas, including multiple inputs, multiple outputs for faster streaming and fewer drop connections. The Fire TV supports resolutions up to 4K or 2160p, including 1080p and 720p. HDR is also included in the Fire TV stick. It has HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and HLG. Audio support includes Dolby Atmos, 7.1 surround, 2 channel sound, and HDMI pass-through of a 5.1 audio signal. So let's talk about this remote. I really like this remote. If you have a first gen or another Fire TV, you're familiar with this remote. It has all the functions that you generally want. You have a up, down, left, right D-pad along with a selection here in the center. You've got home, back, options, play, pause, fast forward, rewind. And also you have this Alexa button up here. So you can say, hey Alexa, play home theater hobbies. And maybe it'll play home theater hobbies, I don't know. But it'll do it, right? Um, but the thing it adds over the first gen Fire TV is it adds power and this volume up down along with mute. So what that means is you only need one remote to control your Fire TV stick and your television. The first gen didn't have those two buttons or those three buttons, I guess. And so it, it didn't work as well. But now you have one remote and you can rule your home entertainment, which is really, really nice. The TV Stick 4K also comes with this HDMI extender, which works really well. What you do is you take your Fire TV Stick, you plug it into this end, and then you plug this in into your television. So it gives you a little bit of space off of your TV if your HDMI ports are clogged and you can't get this thick box in there, or if you just want it to hang just a little bit. So it's a nice thoughtful add in the box for the Fire TV Stick. From a setup standpoint, it's actually really easy to set up. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the micro USB cable that comes in the box, plug it into its adapter, USB side this way, and then you're gonna take the other end, the micro USB end, plug it into this port down here, like that. Plug this into your outlet in your wall, and then plug this into the HDMI port on your TV, your receiver, or whatever you're gonna use. Next, you're going to turn your TV on and select the input for the Fire TV stick. Then the setup process will walk you through all the steps of setting up your Fire TV stick and your remote so that it can turn the volume up and down on either your TV or your AV receiver or whatever you're using. After it's complete, you will be able to watch all the content you want using this Amazon Fire TV stick 4K. So let's talk design. The Amazon Fire TV stick is not what I would call beautiful, but it is functional, it works. Um, Overall, it, it, it does what it's supposed to do. It is a little bit long. I did plug it into the front of my AV receiver at one point just to kind of see how it would look. And it's pretty long, it sticks pretty far out. So I would suggest you put it either behind your TV or in one of the HDMI inputs along the back of your receiver. Now let's talk about my experience. Amazon gives you access to over 500,000 movies and TV shows along with apps such as Netflix, CBS All Access, HBO Now, ESPN, Showtime, and many, many others. Notable exceptions are Apple's iTunes content and a dedicated YouTube app. You can access YouTube through their Silk browser, but there is not a dedicated app. The Stick 4K also has access to DVR content on the Amazon Fire TV recast, and you can also play games. You can connect a Bluetooth controller to control your games if the included remote is a little clumsy. 
The hardware performance of the Fire TV Stick 4K is excellent. In my testing, I did not experience any sluggishness or slowness or hiccups at all. If you're familiar with the previous Fire TV user interface, nothing's changed here. Although I do think that the interface itself is in 4K, but otherwise it's all the same. You have the same eight categories that you had previously. Search, home, your videos, DVR, movies, TV shows, apps, and settings. To use the interface, you go down to go to the category you want and over to see more content in that category. The home tab is where I suspect most people spend their time. You can see your most recently used apps, movies, games, TV shows, but you can also see recommendations from Amazon for things that are trending or content that you may want to purchase. Amazon does include a category for 4K movies and TV shows. When you're doing a search, you can use the on-screen keyboard to find your content, or you can hit that microphone button at the top of the remote and ask Alexa to find whatever it is you're looking for. Finally, in the settings tab, you can access all of the different settings for the Fire TV stick, including display preferences, parental controls, device settings, Alexa settings, and many other things. So now we're gonna rate the Fire TV stick in several categories, starting with one to five, one being the worst and five being the absolute best. The first category I'm gonna rate is performance, and I'm breaking this up into two sections, hardware performance and wireless performance. The overall category is getting a rating of four and a half out of five. From a hardware performance standpoint, I'm giving it a five out of five. I didn't have any issues with sluggishness, slowness, or hiccups. From a wireless performance standpoint, I'm giving it a four and a half out of five. In my testing, it worked incredibly well. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. When I would select a movie or TV show to watch, it would buffer for a minute and then it would catch up and everything was fine. But it is heavily depending on your wireless setup, your wireless network, what device is on there. And so it, it could be a little bit iffy. But I will say that Amazon does sell an ethernet adapter that you can attach right here that has an ethernet cable, um, ethernet port on it and a power port so you can plug it in and it works and then you have a solid performance there. So good on Amazon for doing that. But overall, this category gets a four and a half out of five. Now let's talk video quality. And I give this a five out of five. This thing is rock solid. And I really like it because not only does it have 4K resolution, but it also has all of the major HDR formats, HDR 10, 10 plus, HLG, Dolby Vision, all of those are in here. So if you have an app that supports that, any of those formats, you can use the stick and get it. So it's really, really good. I didn't have any issues whatsoever with video quality as long as I have a nice solid stream. Now let's move on, let's talk about audio quality. And I give this a four and a half out of five. This supports Dolby Atmos, 7.1 channel surround, HDMI pass through of a 5.1 signal. It, it does exactly what you need it to do. So I was able to watch uh, Jack Ryan in 4K and I got the Dolby Atmos signal and it sounds great. I was like, wow, this really sounds good. I had actually watched the same thing in 1080p and I couldn't get Dolby Atmos and I wasn't sure why. But I think what Amazon is doing is they're only putting the Dolby Atmos track on the 4K version of that particular, I guess it's a show even though it's kind of like a movie, but anyways, on that one. So um, audio quality, this is really good. I really enjoyed it. I only had one issue and that was with lip sync when I watched uh, Transformers 4K. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, lip sync is basically when the video is playing and the audio is a little bit behind. So you're seeing the, uh, the actor's mouth move, but yet the audio is delayed just a little bit and it's noticeable. And I did have that on Transformers 4K. So I stopped it, restarted it, and it got a little better, but it wasn't perfect. So that's why it gets a four and a half out of five. And honestly, that could pretty much happen with anything. But overall, it works really well. It supports Atmos, so that's great. And I, I just think this is a really good stick. So what's my overall recommendation? Should you buy this? Shouldn't you buy it? You should definitely buy this. It's $50 normally, and you can catch it on sale at times for about $35 and it gives you access to basically all the content that you could want with the exception of Apple iTunes stuff. But otherwise you can access pretty much everything, even YouTube through the browser, which is a poor solution, but a solution nonetheless. Uh, you have access to games, movies, music, in 4K, HDR, with Dolby Atmos support. Um, if you're worrying about uh, wireless performance, you can buy the ethernet adapter for $15. And I mean, you're good to go. The only thing this doesn't do, I guess, is cut your grass, but I don't know, maybe they'll figure that out at one point. I don't know, but anyways, this is a really, really good buy. 
So that's what I have. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash home theater hobby and use that Amazon link to purchase this. We would appreciate it. We'll talk to you next time.